The Way of the Tiger is a series of adventure gamebooks by Mark Smith and Jamie Thompson set on the fantasy world of Orb. The reader takes the part of a young monk ninja, Avenger, on his quest to avenge his foster father and recover the scrolls of Ketsuin. Later books present fresh challenges for Avenger to overcome. The World of Orb was originally drawn up by Mark Smith for a Dungeons & Dragons game he dungeon mastered while a pupil at Brighton College in the mid-1970s. Orb was also used as the setting for the fighting fantasy gamebook Talisman of Death, again by Smith & Thompson. Each book has a disclaimer at the front against performing any of the ninja-related feats in the book as they could lead to serious injury or death to an untrained user. The sixth book, Inferno, ends on a cliffhanger with Avenger trapped in the web of the Black Widow, Orb's darkest blight. As no new books were released, the fate of Avenger and Orb was unknown. Mark Smith has confirmed that the cliffhanger ending was deliberate. In August 2013, the original creators of the series were working with Megara Entertainment to develop re edited hardcover collector editions of the gamebooks, including a new prequel, Book Zero, and sequel, Book Seven, and potentially a role playing game based on the series. The two new books plus the six re edited original books were reprinted in paperback format by Megara Entertainment in 2014. In December 2013, it was announced that Tin Man Games would be releasing the original six books of the series on digital platforms in 2014 and 2015. However, as of 2017, nothing has been released. <laughs> books The original series comprises six books Avenger Assassin Usurper Overlord Warbringer Inferno Topic Original Covers The books could be played in sequence or as standalone adventures, although playing them in sequence preserves the continuity of the storyline. If played in sequence, any abilities, bonuses, penalties or special items Avenger had acquired carried over to the next book. The new expanded eight-book series consists of the following titles the first, Book Zero, and the last, Book Seven having been printed many years after the original six, Ninja, by David Walters Avenger, by Mark Smith and Jamie Thompson Assassin, by Mark Smith and Jamie Thompson Usurper, by Mark Smith and Jamie Thompson Overlord, by Mark Smith and Jamie Thompson Warbringer, by Mark Smith and Jamie Thompson Inferno, by Mark Smith and Jamie Thompson Redeemer, by David Walters, Mark Smith and Jamie Thompson. Topic. Features The series featured a combat system based on unarmed fighting moves with colorful names, for example the Cobra Strike Punch, Leaping Tiger Kick or Whirlpool Throw. Avenger could also choose from a list of ninja skills such as immunity to poisons, acrobatics or poison needle spitting, and hurl shuriken at enemies. Luck also played in part in the form of fate tests to see if fate smiled on you, or turned her back. Avenger also had the power of inner force, similar to chi energy. Avenger could use inner force to cause greater damage to enemies or break items he would normally be unable to. Avenger also had the use of many ninja artifacts, like a garot and poison needles. Avenger can learn new techniques over the series such as new attacks like the Quan's flail kick or Shinren, a means of understanding people's intentions by observing subtle clues. Topic. Characters The books had a large number of other characters, some of whom had repeat appearances throughout the series. Topic. Enemies Tyuchev, Cassandra and Thom, a trio of Chaos worshippers, who revere the Chaos god Anarchal. They are recurring antagonists of Avenger throughout the series. Those three characters are also featured in Fighting Fantasy Book XI, Talisman of Death, where they oppose the player for the titular item. Cassandra, a warrior noted for her beauty, speed and swordsmanship. Wields a magical cold sword and wears a patchwork armor suit. Tyuchev, this thief wears a magical cloak that blends with the dark, and wields a bastard sword taller than he is. His hair is dyed a bright corn yellow. Thom, a master of magic and especially illusion devious-looking, and wears a large gold earring. 
Olvar the Chaos Bringer, a chaos worshipping barbarian warrior and friend of Tyuchiv, Cassandra, and Thom. His death at Avenger's hands after an unprovoked attack by Olvar leads to the feud between Avenger and the Chaos Worshippers. Wears a magical headband that can fire lightning bolts, and feels no pain in combat due to his bloodlust. The Monks of the Scarlet Mantis, an order of evil monks who worship Vile, Quan's evil brother. Like the followers of Quan, the members of the Scarlet Mantis are consummate martial artists. Yaman, the Grand Master of Flame, head of the Monks of the Scarlet Mantis, an order of monks opposed to the monks who follow Quan. At the beginning of the series he has been Grand Master for more than 20 summers. He slew Avengers foster father Naijishi and stole the scrolls of Ketsuin. Possibly the most deadly martial artist on Orb, Yaman is allied to Mance the Death Mage and Onuric, the leader of the Legion of the Sword of Doom and in the first book, Avenger, your quest calls for you to defeat Yaman and so avenge the death of your father. Aguchi the Weaponmaster, a monk of the Scarlet Mantis and a master of weapons, he challenges Avenger to a duel in the Ring of Vash Ro to avenge the death of Yaman. Expert with the bow, Naganata and Nunchaku. Mandrake, guildmaster of assassins, worships Toramalku the Slayer, the patron god of assassins, and is the most deadly assassin on Orb. No one has ever survived his attention. Master of disguise and acting. Mance the Deathmage, an evil sorcerer and worshipper of Nemesis, Mance can cast many different spells, including the nearly always fatal Finger of Death, has been known to practice child sacrifice. In the prequel Ninja, he also appears as a behind-the-scenes antagonist, plaguing Avenger and his fellow contestants with his evil magic. Onuric, Grand Marshal of the Legion of the Sword of Doom, one of the most feared military commanders and most evil men on Orb. A peerless swordsman, it is said he once slew a storm giant single-handedly. Wields Sorceric, an intelligent magical sword forged by his patron deity that dispels magic, causes fear in its wielder's opponents, and enables its wielder to fly. The Ninja of the Way of the Scorpion, a group of evil ninja who worship Nemesis and follow the Way of the Scorpion, an evil counterpart to the Way of the Tiger. Unlike the Disciples of the Tiger, the Scorpion Ninja specialize in the use of various weapons. The Grand Master of Shadows, the leader of the ninja who follow the Way of the Scorpion. Uses deception, trickery and his ability to create magical darkness in combat. The Impostor, a scorpion ninja who is sent to Ursmungcast to establish a rule of evil while Avenger is absent on a quest in the Rift. Equipped by Ursmungcast's priests of Nemesis with two magical items which formerly belonged to Mandrake. Everyman, a golem bodyguard which is stolen and sent to kill Avenger. It is said that he must be killed 100 times before he can die. The Fiend, sent by the gods of evil to capture Avenger's soul. Astroth, seventh duke of hell. The usurper. The ruler of Ursmungcast Nyedge who seized power after Avenger's real father the rightful ruler of Ursmungcast was slain by Yaman. Foxglove, the beautiful leaderess of the Order of the Yellow Lotus and priestess of Nemesis in Ursmungcast. Cunning and manipulative, she at times attempts to seduce the Avenger, but is not to be trusted. Topic. Allies. Glavis, a ranger lord and excellent swordsman, Glavis is a friend and ally of Avenger. Dore Le Jeune, a paladin and ally of Avenger. Undertakes regular expedition to the Rift to combat evil spawn. The followers of Quan, an order revering Quan the Redeemer, dedicated to combating evil on Orb. The order consists of both monks and ninja, all of them skilled in unarmed combat techniques. Following their banishment from the Island of Plenty during the Black Lotus Rebellion, the Order settled on the Island of Tranquil Dreams. Gorobay, a monk and fellow worshipper of Quan. Expert wrestler and skilled martial artist, although not as fast as Avenger. In Ninja and Avenger, he is a contestant for the title of Grand Master of the Five Winds, the inner circle of the Order's Supreme Masters. Parsifal, the head monk of Quan in the city of Ursmungcast Nye Edge. He is murdered by Mandrake, and his likeness adapted by the assassin in an attempt on Avenger's life. Iko, a female ninja-like Avenger, and a contestant for the title Grand Master of the Five Winds in Ninja. She is killed by Mance the Deathmage, and her spirit is subsequently captured for a foul necromantic ritual. Dayon, another contestant for the title Grand Master of the Five Winds in Ninja. A temperamental young monk who fled the Island of Plenty as a young boy. 
Chigeru, an elderly monk of Quan and another contestant for the title Grand Master of the Five Winds in Ninja. He is killed during his quest for the Grand Master title by a demonically transformed creature. Togawa, a monk of Quan and a mystic. Has knowledge of extremely powerful martial arts attacks, and can travel to the spirit plane. If Avenger visits him, the monk will teach a powerful new kick, Quan's Flail, which proves a valuable attack against enemies inexperienced with the move. The Spirit Tiger, Quan's Servantus, who is aiding Avenger from the Spirit Plane. To Fleur, Thibo, Vespers and Aris, a group of adventurers who Avenger aids in their battle against an undead warlord, who in turn heal him of the plague and come to his aid in a confrontation with the worshippers of Chaos. Force Lady Gwyneth, leader of the Shield Maidens of Dama in the city of Ursmungkast Nye Edge. CSAKY, daughter of a loremaster of Sarakab, and Avenger's cousin, who makes her living as an adventurer using thieving skills although she dislikes being called a thief, preferring the title, Wanderer. She appears in Redeemer to aid Avenger in infiltrating the royal palace of Ursmungkast after it has been taken over by the imposter. Others Runeweaver, a warrior who can fire magical bolts from his sword. Antosidas the One-Eyed, leader of the mercenaries in the city of Urmsungkast Nye Edge. Golspiel, corrupt but silver-tongued head of the merchants guild in Ursmungkast. He is a scheming opportunist who sides with whatever party promises him the most bountiful spoils. The Demagogue, another faction leader in Ursmungkast Nye Edge. While neither a warrior or skillful politician, he is a superb orator and crowd swayer and considers himself the spokesman of the common people. Grizel, a young slave girl whom the player might meet when traveling through the Vale of the Lich Lords. While she does not survive for long after the encounter, she may give the hero an item which can prove essential for retaking her smuncast from the usurper. Gods. Aside from certain ancient titans called Elder Gods, Orb is ruled by various deities worshipped by humans and other beings. <laughs> <laughs> video games Two video games based on the books were released. The first, The Way of the Tiger, is a beat-em-up released by Gremlin Graphics for the Amstrad CPC, ZX Spectrum, Commodore 16 and Commodore 64. This game has Avenger fighting with staves and swords as well as utilizing unarmed combat Avenger rarely used weapons apart from shuriken in the books. Way of the Tiger 2, Avenger is an action-adventure made by Gremlin Graphics in 1986, for the computers Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, ZX Spectrum and MSX. In the game's story, Yemen the Grand Master of Flame has killed the player's foster father Nijish and stolen the scrolls of Ketsuin. To recover the scrolls, the player has to find enough keys to penetrate the Quench Heart Keep, and then kill each of the three guards. The game is viewed from top-down perspective and superficially resembles Gauntlet. See also Choose your own adventure Fighting fantasy, advanced fighting fantasy Legends of Skyfall Lone Wolf, 